Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's a girl Savina Fiska, YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria, and currently schooling in Ebu State. Guys, I'm done with my semi final exams. I know that I have been MI for a while now, it was because I was writing exams, and you know, it's 500 level exams, so I, I really didn't want to. You know distract myself with creating content editing content so that's why i've been in my but i'm back better because that's in december it's about to start <laughs> I finished the exams on Tuesday. Today is, uh, I think, Thursday. Yes, I was supposed to travel tomorrow because I want to spend some time with you know people here. But I figured, nah, it's not worth it. There's some people that nah, it's not worth it, you know. So I'm going back today to Lagos. So the main reason why I'm going back actually is because my younger brother's birthday is on Sunday, and we're kind of putting a get together together. So get together together so uh that's why i'm traveling today i want to show you guys my feet i lost a lot of weight guys i'm going to take you guys through that journey soon enough because i'm like compiling the video so that you guys can actually see what happened but yes i lost, lost a lot of weight when i actually bought this trouser i think um about a month ago it wasn't this loose guys can you see what's what's going on well you know it's all good i checked my weight yesterday and i weigh 71 kg and that's very crazy because i was like over 90 kg six months ago but it's all good so i'm on my way to lagos i'm packed already let me show you guys my bag my bag this is my ring light i'm taking it to lagos and my tripod and this is my box yes everything that i will need for december is here if i don't have the clothes i buy because i don't want to carry load so that's that's basically it so that's my bag i'm packed and i'm on my way home so yes i've switched off all the lights and flipped my bed spread in and out every single thing i i i washed my clothes yesterday so i've packed them they're all dried and i'm good to go so let's go to Lagos. But first off, let's go and buy Yashewa's rice and beans and planting and meat. So guys, I'm on my way already. I got a bike man that will take me to the park and Yashewa's place to buy food. I don't know what I'm breathing because I just carried my box. It was quite heavy. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys when I get to Yashewa's place. But when I certainly get to the park on my way, uh, I'll meet you guys there. <laughs> So this is basically me on my way to Ijebode Park and guys you will not believe that I had to stay for an hour 13 minutes before I got the bus. Finally got a bus. One hour, one hour 13 minutes later I got a bus to my destination so yeah. I've never been to my food but you know. I'll eat it on my way. I don't know if that's my food. So, guys, I ate my food. This food was given what I was supposed to give. And then the proper journey started, guys. I literally spent over five hours in this traffic. Guys, if you see the traffic, the traffic, can you guys see what I'm saying? Like, can you see? The traffic was crazy i beg it was too mad and then the driver now took a route that he wasn't supposed to take because he felt like it was going to be faster but that made our journey worse see i was tired at this point like literally tired then the worst happened because our boss 
now broke down on the road and we had to come down this is me on the road standing guys the experience was not funny at all at all guys this is our driver trying to figure out a way to move this bus guys can you see that it's dark and we were just stuck at the place and then going with god i got to lagos and getting an uber driver was like the worst experience because everybody was cancelling i finally got one glory be to god what's up people <laughs> this is almost nine o'clock and i am just on my way home nobody at home knows that i am going i'm coming back to jay's kind of like a surprise so you know this is the longest i've ever been on the road from the states well thank god for a safe trip you know so i see you guys when i get home guys so i am officially in my estate yes remember like i said nobody knows i'm coming back home nobody <laughs> i actually specifically want to surprise my baby brother i hope he's the one that opens the door yeah so i'm really happy to be back home see you guys Guys, I'm home. Are you, are you... Are you pocket? Yes. Yeah. I'm just I'm just I'm 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 i weekend vlog but because i don't want it to be too long i i'm going to have to break it in parts so i'll upload yesterday and today that's thursday and friday together and saturday and sunday together so this is me friday morning i want to make um fried eggs and bread for my younger brother that's what he wants to eat and i'm super, super excited to be back in lagos if i'm being honest and i don't know like it's just this feeling of uh fuzziness that i have in my tummy and i'm grateful to be back home so let's make fried eggs for my baby brother hey guys how y'all doing i don't know if this noise is affecting this video let me check 
okay so i don't think it's that bad so good morning <laughs> um i'm going for car alignment it's been a while that you know anybody drove this car because my elder sister doesn't know how to drive and i'm practically the one that you know drives the car when i'm around so i'm going for alignment of the car i don't know how to explain that to you guys but if you know what car alignment is just basically aligning the steering with you know the tires i'm taking my younger brother let me show you he wanted to accompany me so this is his uh fried eggs he's going to eat it in the car and i have a lot of things to do because of my brother's birthday preparations and i think that i'm going to wash this car oh, Chris, good morning. i think that i'm going to wash the car because it's kind of really dirty so that's just what i'm going to do this morning it is almost eight o'clock and I think that this is going to last for at least two hours but then again I'm supposed to go to computer village with my sister because she needs to change her phone or something and after that I need to go birthday preparation shopping I want to get a gift for him but I don't know yet so that's it that's it that's what we're going to do today I'm going to take you um, guys through it so come on this journey with me and now the car alignment is done after that i took it to the car wash it was actually in the same compound so it was just very easy for me so i'm done washing the car and we're on our way to the market oh yeah hold it what's up guys here's your your guy desire bona hope you guys are good okay we are done washing our car today we're done doing our wheels, so we are going to the market to buy some things for my bed today and my park park. Okay, so and surprisingly, and surprisingly somebody paid for for the car wash. Like I do even have an idea. I just met the guy here and apparently he paid for it. That's really thoughtful. So I get to save my money at the end of the day. <laughs> Anyways, I'm on my way to do some birthday shopping. Now I want to get fuel in the car also and um, in my keg. And see this queue, guys. What the hell is happening? Why is there fuel scarcity during December? Why? Anyways, let's do this. Adi Kapunshala. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing on It's basically just James. So, guys, I'm on my way to Comptar Village with my sister. I'm going to meet her up at the bus stop. She don't want to go and change her phone. And I wasn't even able to uh, do the buy the things I wanted to buy for my brother's birthday. But we're going to buy when we're coming back. So that's basically where I'm going to now. I have a music concert to attend this evening. Although I'm not sure if I'm going yet. I went last year. I'm not sure if I'm going yet, but I think I want to go. So let's just see if I eventually go. So meet you guys. See you guys when I get to you know. I don't know why this thing is zoomed. Uh -huh. So meet you guys when I get to the phone shop because I'm going to vlog while I'm going there so yes that's it hey guys so we are done it's very 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 late I stuck into this restroom at this mall let me show you guys Good and we are going home. So see you guys when I get home. I'm back home and to tell you guys that I am tired and last eight minutes. I want to give you guys the gist of what happened, but I don't know if I am I'll be able to do that tonight because I'm very very tired. My legs are literally shaking. So if I take my bath and I have the strength, I'll just you guys. But if I don't, I'll tell you guys tomorrow. Look at my decapon shala. My baby's birthday is almost here. Adika, 
Nonchalance pele. So guys, anyways, that's it. I'm back home. I'm not going for the concert because I'm very, very tired. And that's it. You see me? If I want to show you madness at the first calm down so that my anger and my display will be justified. I was already shaking and that's that's what happens when I'm pissed and I'm about to blow up. I was my legs were literally shaking. People say they go from zero to hundred. I don't go from zero to I go to, from zero to one million. As in proper madness. I don't like to say I'm mad, but because I'm a child of God, I'm not mad. But proper madness. Le Marilini. Uh -huh.